an exhaust? Maybe. What is up everybody, this is Briar Chats coming back again with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the $500 2018 CV650. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe as well to share it with your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate it. Check back with you guys in the next one. So here's the story behind this bike. Here in this beautiful state of Florida, we have these places that, you know, I'm not going to disclose because that would take a lot of business away from me and uh, make me miss out on deals if I tell the world. So I'm going to gatekeep where i got this bike from exactly but anyways it was stolen um and a tow yard had it and the tow yard sold it after an auction um so the story behind it apparently the guy that stole it was running from the police on it and uh he crashed while he was running and um yeah it destroyed the tank um when i got it from a dude in miami um he bought it from auction i bought it from him uh, he said that he cleaned out the fuel tank, but that there's no way he did. There was so much rust and just grime and just everything bad. So this is what's inside of this fuel pump after sitting for years. Look at that. Oh my God. On this bike, <clears throat> that there's no way that he cleaned it. That's just from the rust and fuel leaking everywhere. Um, so what I did when I got the bike, also forgot to mention all of the key, the gas tank, and the seat were all punched. Um, if you don't know what punched means, basically I could start this bike with a screwdriver. Um, so the plans with this bike were to have it as a side bike for me, um, cause I can't really use my drag bike for a commuting bike. It doesn't make sense to, if I want to go to McDonald's on a motorcycle, take my BMW S1000. So... I got this bike kind of for me, but I really got this for my girlfriend so she can learn how to ride. Um, <clears throat> when we got the bike, it didn't look as good as it looks right now. We really cleaned it up a lot. Um, we polished the plastics, cleaned up the bars. Um, I adjusted the clutch levers, uh, put new grips on it. As you guys can see, that throttle is adjusted way way better than what it was it had so much play in it it didn't start kicking in until about right there which is horrible um the brake lever on the right side was bent i bled the brakes put new brake pads on it um but i went over the whole thing um <clears throat> so the person who i guess stole it just hot wired it so i just put a switch on here like this so that that's my key for now until our key or her key comes in the mail um but other than that, um, I ordered a new gas tank. I did an oil change on it. I ran a can and air filter, or oil filter, sorry, and uh, Motoil 10W40, the green stuff, the good stuff that I put in the BMW. Um, also, I did cut off the cat because this thing sounds like, it doesn't even sound like a lawnmower. It sounds like a four-year-old blowing on your phone when you're riding it. So I cut off the cat and i was gonna ride it like that for a little bit but it's just too loud and just sounded horrible so i ended up getting a sc project from ebay um and i had a guy come and weld on the mid pipe and then i did the rest of the exhaust work um also i took off the cracked pieces of plastics on the side i ordered new ones of those as well um but basically the only problem that this thing had was from sitting in the tow yard and getting moisture in the tank um, and that's what created the rust in the tank. Um, underneath the seat, we have a new battery. Um, I cleaned up some of the wiring in here because it was all over the place. They disconnected the tail for some reason. I don't know if they thought had a track or anything. But, um, yeah, so basically on the porch now, we just got the gas tank. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox that. Have my, my little munchkin out here with me while I'm doing all this. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's really the only thing that I'm going to be able to put on in today's video. I did order a handbrake for it as well as an extra back rotor because um, I have Brembo extra calibers that I want to put on it um, so that I can have a handbrake on it for wheelies. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to open the tank. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be putting the gas tank on it in this video. I'm probably going to start doing videos like this in parts. But, um, 
yeah, I'm going to show you guys the new tank. So guys, I know this video is a little bit all over the place, but the new gas tank for Ashley's bike just got here. And it only costed me $1,000 from Honda. So yeah. Brand new. No cracks, no scratches. No, nothing. So yeah, I mean, no fuel pump, fuel tank, fuel filter. Anything to have to do with your fuel should have that amount of rust in it. Skip to the next day. Um, this is kind of like the last day for building the CB650F. Um, as shown, we got the new gas tank. Everything's going good on it. Ashley's taking apart the tank right now because I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got two mini bikes to work on, man. But I'm gonna set the camera up. Time lapse are taking this whole thing apart, and then uh, we're gonna get this new tank on there. And then also we got a new fuel pump for it. So let's get it. So guys, now that we have the new fuel pump and everything put into the tank, um, she's on the phone with a business call right now, but we're going to go ahead and put the uh, new gas tank, new fuel pump and everything on the bike, plug up the battery and start it. Um, now doing this, there was a loss of power with the old tank because there's so much rust inside of it and in the fuel pump that I was still riding it like that just for the simple fact that, I mean, it's a stunt bike. I got this bike to mess around on and for her to learn on. So um, also I do plan on putting a cage on here and a handbrake. Um, I do have the handbrake mount and set up here. I just have to get a uh, caliber and a brake line. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this new tank on here. Guys, a lot of mechanics recommend not to do this. And I'm only doing this because they recommend not to do this. <laughs> To prove a point but anyways i'm gonna turn the ignition um and make sure that the fuel pump's working i should have did that before but the battery is out of the bike um but it's a brand new fuel pump as well as a brand new tank so it should work um so turn the key okay yeah fuel pump works so i don't recommend dry priming a fuel pump but um let's go ahead and pour some gas in this thing and see how she sounds I don't have a whole crap ton of gas to put in this bike. Um, this is fresh gas that I'm pouring in here, but I do have enough. Well, this should be enough to start it. Okay. Now we prime the fuel pump a few times. A few times fuel time with fuel in the tank. Turn off the key. Turn it on. Let it prime a few times. And it should start. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this bike to the side, take a little break. Um, whenever she's done on the phone, she can come out here and finish putting her bike back together. And, um, yeah. 
So guys, if you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe as well as share it with your friends and family. I uh, greatly appreciate it. I check back with you guys in the next one. Peace.